Hello and welcome to BizShare Networking. This episode is all about businesses who are members of the Clovis Chamber of Commerce and active in our community. So please watch and share this video if you know any of these businesses. Are you thinking about building something from scratch, maybe a little remodel or even moving walls, and you have no idea how to even budget for it, you need to call Taylor Home Design. Brett Taylor, how are you, sir? Great. How are you doing, Rich? Good. You know, that initial consultation is so important when people uh, have no idea what they're even getting into. They don't know if a kitchen's going to cost them 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand. Mm -hmm. The first place to start would be Taylor Home Design. Give you a call, free consultation, and you can start walking them through the process so they know what they're up against. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, most people will only remodel or build a new home maybe once in a lifetime, so it's really foreign to most people. So we want to just get, meet with them and just kind of give them an idea what the process is all about and sure. walk them through it step by step. And even if they have a budget in mind, you know, they say, I think I can spend this, Brett, but I don't know if I can pull it off. You can tell them different ways to go about it, to put mm -hmm. more money into one section, less into another, to still get that dream remodel done, even though that uh, they didn't have to then break the bank to do it. Right, and the kitchen's a perfect example. You can, the cost of a kitchen could be, you can, it could go, it's almost exponential. I yes. mean, yeah, because I know that they, when you start putting in uh, appliances, mm -hmm. you can go with the best of the best and shoot the budget really quickly, or one thing you really want can mm -hmm. be super, and the next couple maybe they're on the lower end so that you can save some money for the rest of the remodel. Yes, that's right. Now, if someone calls you up in the beginning and said, all right, Brad, I, I think this is what I want to do, but I'm not real sure, you've probably turned a few of them around and decided, you know what, you could actually get your dream kitchen if we cut something off here and build something on the other side. Yeah, of course. We, we're, that's what we do. We, we help people with, take their ideas and see if we can make it work within their budget. If we need to, we can even find a contractor to help them uh, in, in the design process, too. Sure. Well, in talking with you previously, uh, it was fun when you told me there was a client that, that you gave the free consultation to, wasn't in their budget, they weren't ready. 2009, I think, mm -hmm. they called you up the other day, hey, I saved the money, Brett, I'm ready to go, and yep. now they're going to get their dream remodel. Yes, that's correct. So it's always making those connections. That's right. Make that connection right now with Taylor Home Design. Call Brett, and when you're ready for your project to uh, come to fruition, he'll help you make it happen. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So when you think about those extra spare bedrooms in your house, how often are they really used for guests to come over and actually sit in that beautiful bed that you've made up? What if you could hide it? Well, the great folks at Gary O Furniture can make that happen for you. Gary, how are you? Good. Good, Rich. I want to talk to you a little bit about Murphy beds. Uh, I don't think people realize or they've maybe lost touch with the fact that a Murphy bed used to be so popular. That eliminates any big clutter that could be in a room and make a room a whole lot more functional if they put in a Murphy bed. Yeah, Murphy beds have been around for a long time. I think, like you said, people have just forgotten about them. Right. Um, you can, they're really great space savers. Um, you know, we, you can build an office around them. You can, in, you can incorporate a home theater in with them. Okay. Um, then it, it's just, you can choose the wood, the color, the hardware, just like we've talked about uh, sure. from before. I think the, the, where you pride yourself, and we've had this discussion before, that when people come in and they're talking to you about their ideas and their thoughts, it's not just, that's a piece of furniture that I need. It has to fit the room, and all of your salespeople know that, hey, if, if all else fails, we need to come see that room to make sure that the furniture fits, and people don't think about that. They just, they've got it in their mind what they want, and they don't realize something may fit way better for the room. Correct. You've really got to be able to see that room somehow. And that's what makes it personal about what you do at Gary o. Right, right. Which is also why you've been in business for right. almost 33 years. It's true, it's true. Talk to me about some of the textures and things. When a Murphy bed's up, I mean, do people put art underneath it? Um, is it just more of a, of a wood decor? How does that it's, all play out? Some of them look like actually a built-in wardrobe. Okay. Um, we have some, we don't have any in right now, but we have some, they are available, I actually have a drop-down desk on them. Oh, nice. We have another one that, uh, it's a called a desk bed. Okay. It's either twin or full size. It pivots like a Ferris wheel. Okay. Okay. So, and when you do that, your home, all your office, your computers and everything are on a different level. So it pivots nice. up. It's a bed and pivots down. It's a home office. That'd and be nothing great has option to be for moved. people. It's really, really cool. Right. It's really nice. And I think when people have kind of forgotten, if they come in and see these right now, they'll probably be shocked at the versatility that, that a Murphy bed can offer in one of their guest bedrooms. Yeah, they're great. We sell lots of them. Right. And that's the way it should be, right? It Perfect. really is. If you're thinking about making the space uh, bigger in your room or want to make it more functional, you need to come see the great team at Gary O Furniture. And maybe the Murphy bed is an option for you. We'll be right back. Well, it's one thing to keep shelling out a bunch of money for energy, but how about if you do some things where they'll pay you back? 
Donald P. Dick, Air Conditioning Incorporated. It's got some plans that'll make that happen for you. And I've got Victor Barbados here today. Victor, how are you? Fantastic yourself. I I'm doing great, especially because <laughs> I know that you might be able to save me a lot of money. And that's it. People call Absolutely. you and say, hey, there's programs out there I can take advantage of. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the Fresno Home Energy Tune-Up. Uh, okay. Free audit. Um, started here in Fresno. All right. Um, there were a lot of raiders out there doing $750 is what they typically charge through Fresno County. Okay. Free, no charge. So right off the bait, you, I'm saving $750. <laughs> right. And I steal. But they can, I mean, there's, there's programs they might be able to save up to $4,000. Absolutely. It all starts with the energy audit. And from okay. there, we do a personal analysis with the homeowner coming up with uh, measures that are specific to your lifestyle. Got it. Um, the incentives do top out at $4,000. Okay. But uh, on the big picture, that's where you're looking at 40% savings on energy. Nice. So, so you, you've already cut back too and getting money back. Absolutely. Okay. It's a win-win. When you go in and do an audit, uh, it, it's not just, hey, I can fix your air conditioner. There's uh, a lot of things that go into that, weather stripping and windows, things you look at to say, look, we can save you a ton. Absolutely. It's a whole house analysis okay. where you're looking at every energy feature of the home, what type of appliances you have, the windows you have, the insulation, and maybe the mechanical and the ductwork as well. Okay. But it's the whole package. There are certain clients that when you go in and start talking with them, they, uh, they say, you know, I don't care about what those windows look like. I don't care how much sun's coming in. I want this place to be cool. So there's certain things that they want more emphasis on. Absolutely. Everybody has their, their unique set of drivers. Um, for the most part, once I get started talking, yeah, we're, we're there two hours later and we've covered all the bases. But absolutely, um, for some people it is that air conditioning. How do I become cooler? How, how can I turn it on and not kill myself on the utility bill? Right, right. Well, the one main thing that you're going to want to see is that fat check coming back when Victor comes in and says, by the way, we just saved you 2500 bucks, up to $4,000. Right. So give Donald P. Dick Air Conditioning Incorporated a call and let them come out and work their magic. We'll be right back with more. You know, when you're clicking on those search engine pages on the websites and you're thinking, how do all those companies get way in front of mine? Well, Sierra Pacific Marketing can make that happen, and that's why in studio today, I've got Mr. Danny Gathright. Danny, how are you? I'm great, thank you. So, SEO, search engine optimization, it's Correct. a big term in your world. It is. And in mine, all I want to know is, how do I get up onto the first position on, on page one of Google? And that's what everybody wants. Okay. Everybody wants their website on page one of Google. Okay. But the problem is that most businesses either create their own website website or they hire someone to do it for them that really doesn't understand the principles of search engine optimization so it takes a little work to get there okay and is it just a matter of throwing out the right terms or are there a couple other components that get you to where you need to be yeah there's actually two main components that that gets you higher rankings in the search engines okay. and the first component is what we call the on page when you're working on your website these are things you do on your website in order to make sure it gets higher rankings okay and the first one is going to be your specific keywords for, for your website, they need to be in the title tag, the meta tags, in paragraphs, in headings, in, te in contextual links. And sometimes this takes a little bit of technical skill to be able to do that. Okay. And some people don't know how to do that. Um, and then keeping your, your website up to date, okay. content fresh all the time. The second uh, part of uh, search engine optimization is what we call off-page, things okay. you do away from your website. And those things include getting backlinks from other websites to make your, your website popular. Got so it. Um, blogs, uh, social media, video, video okay. all those types of things that, that put links right back to your website, makes your website more popular to Google, and, they're, and they say this must be a really good site, everybody wants to see it, so it actually gets higher ranking. So incorporating at least those two minimum aspects into a website will actually get you higher rankings in Google. And a lot like what we're trying to do at BizShare is that you're yes. now creating other links to other avenues of more people that can incorporate back and into And this you. is a great tool to do that with. I love it, and that's <laughs> why we've got Sierra Pacific Marketing here, because this man has the ideas, we'll put it into place, so make sure you share this great business with all of your other friends. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Well, BizShare Networking is all about sharing great businesses, and one way to share a great business is with the Chamber of Commerce, and that's why we brought into studio Beth Bridges. Beth, how are you? Hi, Rich. Good. How are you? I am great, and great to have you here today because I want to talk to people that might not know what the Chamber is all about. What is the Chamber of Commerce, and what makes you up? A Chamber of Commerce is really like a business club. Okay. And like any club, it's made up of people who are like-minded. And that, I will tell you, is one of the biggest secrets to making networking a lot easier. Okay. People join chambers of commerce in order to build the relationships, expand their relationships, which grows their businesses. Sure. And when you network with the Clovis Chamber of Commerce, you're guaranteed that the people you're meeting are like-minded in that they also want to meet more people, gain exposure for their business, but also build those relationships that help them build their business 
Sure. And your business. And I'm glad you just threw that out, the Clovis Chamber of Commerce, because the Chamber of Commerce is a great organization, but there are several Chamber of Commerce says. The Clovis Chamber, it's a pretty tight-knit group. I mean, you guys really take care of each other. Every city has a Chamber of Commerce. Almost every city will have a Chamber of Commerce. They're generally not part of government. Okay. We're an independent association. So we're a nonprofit. It's not a charity, but we run it like a business. Sure. And I think that's important that when you have a business, if you want to benefit, you want to be involved in an organization that understands business, knows what your bottom line is, and knows what your goals are. Sure. So we have that business perspective, but then we also have an organization, I think, that's really special in that, that like-minded, relationship-focused orientation makes it so easy and makes it a lot of fun. Sure, and that's what it's all about at the Clovis Chamber of Commerce, too. It is a tight-knit group of people that want to take care of each other and make sure all the businesses here at Clovis flourish. You can be a part of that, too. We want you to share them as well on BizShare Networking. We'll be right back with more. So give the friendly people at the Clovis Chamber of Commerce a call and take advantage of all they have to offer our Valley's businesses. Thanks for watching this edition of BizShare Networking. Be sure to share this on your social media as we all do our part to keep our local companies strong.